What up, YouTube? So I'm gonna make me a burger here real quick. For the cheese on my cheeseburger, we got Colby Jack. Now, the first thing I wanna do is, uh, uh, I definitely need to do dishes later on, but I'm gonna grab a plate that I can set my burger on. Oh wait, that burger will do, that plate will do just fine. Okay. Second thing I'm gonna do, grab some buns. I could use this one, but I wanna use two slices of bread right here. Alright y'all, check this out. Yes, my stove's a little bit dirty, and yes, the pan's a little bit greasy, but you know what? I'm a bachelor, so fudge it. I turn the heat on to seven. And then we're gonna take oh, set the camera up here right here, just like that. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna toast up our sandwich bun here. And take some Tony's. And um, season both sides of them. Okay. All right, there you can see I got both sides seasoned. Okay, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do first is toast the sandwich up on the bread side first. And then after I toast the sandwich up on the bread side, then we're gonna cook our patties and melt the cheese on them. Get these patties ready. Now you're, you're gonna end up putting Tony's on both sides of these patties, but this will make the process go a little bit quicker if you just, you know, pre-season it. doing that um do we want to put curly fries on the burger yes we do um yeah, i've used a separate plate for those I don't want these 
to get too toasted, so you want to watch your burger when you're making it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. People, that is how you toast your sandwich. Your sandwich bread right there. That's nice. Nice and toasted. Okay. Fries for our burger. Do it two minute burst there. Okay. Alright. Both sides are toasted. Alright, so now I want to pick our patties up real quick. Now that stove's nice and heated up. Put that put the patty down on the side that I seasoned. Now you see that I put the patty down on the season side and then I season the top of it. All right, let's keep the camera here while we do our thing. Yep, I pulled a little bit of crust off that bread. That is toasted to, to perfection. And I like my meat a little bit rare in the middle, so this won't take too long. And when you're flipping it, YouTube, keep as close to the pan as you possibly can when you flip it. And the reason being, you keep that patty, you keep that burger patty as close to the pan as you possibly can when you flip it that helps you avoid getting grease all over your stove top yeah Yep, the Arby's curly fries are done. Ah. Oh. All right. I'm gonna turn the stove up now. Leave it at seven. I was gonna turn the stove up, but I'm like, no, no, what? Leave it at seven. And normally my stove looks 10 times worse when I cook burgers, but you want to minimize the mess on your stove when you're making greasy burgers. Keep that burger patty as low to the pan as you possibly can. See the rest of these curly fries from our burger. Well, a couple more. Oh. Mm.
Hmm. I'm waiting like it's a little, a little bit darker on both sides before I add the cheese. Just like that. First patty's done. I'll cook up our second patty here. And again, you see that light seasoning um, this burger is almost done it's got really one more patty to go and then and then I'm gonna add some curly fries to it maybe a little bit of ranch and hot sauce all right Now you know what? Fuck it, YouTube. I'll make, I'll make more curly fries. Mm. Look who's that? Arby's curly fries. minutes for those
patty. This patty is ready for some cheese. Yep, that patty's good. All right. All right. Turn the stove off. Let that cool down. Now, I'm gonna, yeah, let's, um, let's take our ingredients over here. I'm working on right there. Move a couple things over here. Okay. All right. Don't that look good? Yes, it does. I'm gonna take all these curly fries, all these greasy, delicious curly fries. And pile them up on there just like that. fries on there. Let's see what we can use for hot sauce. Now we got different options here. some Bay of Delhi pepper sauce and habanero jalapeno and some ranch. Exotic detail. Let me grab that one. Uh, habanero, here we go. All right. So we'll take a little bit of our habanero sauce. Cap full of habanero sauce on there, just like that. Do a cap full of this spicy jalapeno. And some of this um, Primo's Peppers Bayadelic. This stuff is no longer in production, so. Hmm, doesn't smell that bad. Let's 
to a splash on there just like that. We'll add one more hot sauce to it. Exotic detail. All right, how do all these hot sauces smell on this burger combined? Let's see. Mmm, it does smell spicy, but it's not overpowering. All right, so now I want to take a little bit of this here bacon flavored ranch and do just, just a little bit like that. Just a little bit on that side like that. There's all the hot sauces on there with the cheese and the curly fries. And yeah. And it takes a while to throw something together like this, but there you go. Let's scoot it forward just like that. All right. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about I'd say about 20 seconds to melt the cheese a little bit and um, put the ranch back while we're at it. I'm gonna take this beautiful creation and with a microwave it for 20 seconds. That'll give the chance, <coughs> excuse me, for the cheese to melt. Get just a little bit gooey. Okay, there it is in there. And uh, time cook. 20 seconds. Start. Twenty seconds is twenty seconds is perfect. I'm not sure what to call this burger, YouTube, but I definitely call it a burger. I know new computer, but check us out. I know my fans have been asking for a cooking video. Well, there you go. Nice. 24 minute cooking video. All right, let's sit this down over here so I can set the camera down just like, uh, like right here, it'll be good. All right, what's up, YouTube? Okay, now I got the phone camera set down. Um, I'll get to attacking them dishes here in a bit, but stop by and make this video real quick. Curly fries, cheese, grease, all kinds of goodness. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's see how I did on this burger. It's a hefty son of a bitch. <laughs> Mm. 
Like that burger is not that spicy. There is a little bit of kick to it, but for me, it's mild. <clears throat> mm. Oh yeah, look at that cross section. That is beautiful. You know, you want to bite. You know, you want to bite. It wasn't quite how I made the burger that I ate in my last video, but minus the hot sauces and the style of bun that I used and the curly fries, everything else was pretty much just like the burger I made that I ate in my last video that I, that I was eating. You know. There we go. It takes you a minute for that, the heat of that hot sauce combination to creep up on you, but oh yeah, it's definitely there. That is a good burger. Like it's spicy, but it's not overdone. Got a nice little kick to it, but it's not like, oh God, my mouth, you know what I'm saying? One second. Well, I had to wash my plate off and of course wash my hands. Hmm. Well, as you saw, that burger didn't take too long to cook up. 24 minutes later, you got yourself a delicious sandwich. Hmm. Well, I saw the, the amount of likes that I got when I was eating that burger. And, uh, you know, to be fair, it's been a while since my fans have had a cooking video. Go ahead and wash that down with some delicious cold coffee. I made a pot of um, Death Wish coffee from yesterday. And um, if I don't drink the whole pot in once in one day, I'll have some of it for the next day. Yep. Mm-hmm. 